everybody! In this video, we're gonna learn how monster star spawning works, and also about weapon types. Volheim has a wide variety of different monsters, trolls being one of the cool ones, right? There's usually some kind of destructive force in each biome. For now, we're gonna focus on these tough guys. So, first off, you're gonna notice that sometimes trolls are just totally naked, they're not holding anything. Other times, they have a weapon. The weapon changes how far the troll can hit you. And I think they also do more damage, but I'm not entirely sure. So these guys, this big one with the stick like that, he can hit you from really far away, as you've probably already found out. Whereas these ones can only hit you when you're a bit closer up, making them easier. In addition to that, there's also a star system. If you're really savvy, you will have noticed that these two trolls are blue. This one's a bit green, and that one is red. Here we go with the regular troll, and they don't have that much health. If I backstab this guy, he'll just die, right? Because he didn't see me. Whereas if I try and do that to this two-star troll here, boom, look at that. It <laughs> only did a quarter. So they're reacting this way because I have ghost mode on, so they can't actually see me. Although, it certainly looks like that troll can see me. Starred enemies are going to drop double for one star, and I think quadruple. Almost all enemies in the game can be starred. However, certain enemies have no spawns for their starred variants. So as the game is right now, some enemies, like sea serpents for example, can't be starred. Which I think is really sad, because it'd be really cool to come across a two-starred sea serpent that you just can't do anything about, and it just wrecks you and you gotta run away. I, I think that'd be great. I'd love that kind of stuff. The last point I want to make about starred enemies is that they become increasingly more common the further you are away from the center of the map. So if we go into the very center of the map here, right? There's going to be very few starred enemies, just the occasional one star, and if you find a two star, that's really lucky. Whereas if you go to an area that's on the absolute edge of the map, like let's say this Mislens over here, this Mislens had a higher portion of Skulled Verger and Skulled Seekers and Skulled Zhao, or Skulled, ha, <laughs> of starred enemies. So it's more common the closer you are to the edge of the world and less common the closer you are to the center. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video explaining how the star system works for monsters in Valheim. Hopefully there's going to be some really cool additions to this later in the future. I'm sure that Iron Gate is going to do some kind of rebalancing with the monsters once they've finished all of the biomes and make the bosses more fun and all that kind of thing. Iron Gate's a really cool developer, honestly. It's one of the few teams that I actually feel like I want to support. And if I give them money by playing this game, I feel like they're actually going to make the game better. And I don't know about you, but that's a rare thing these days in video gaming. So, thanks for that. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to support me, then please check out my tutorial about setting up a dedicated server in Valheim so you can play with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!